Hey peeps, it's Guitarholic, and I'm here to help you out with your Anomaly League 5 Sayoma League build decisions. Anomaly League is a private league run at the end of each Path of Exile League with completely random rules and requirements. For Anomaly League 5, we decided Sion was the true way to go. So are you sitting there with absolutely no idea what to play? Not a fellow Sion enjoyer? Then don't worry, we have some build concepts for you to check out and discuss in our Discord with fellow Anomaly League enjoyers. The goal of Anomaly League is always to have fun. Each of the builds suggested is just a starting point to get you going in Anomaly League, and we think it'll be a really fun way to try out something new and different that you may not have tried before. Any Path of Building links and credits from other content creators are in the descriptions below. So let's get into the builds. We've come up with five recommendations, which should be a fun Anomaly League start, and one or two bonus builds as well, if you really want to take on the challenge. Our first build, Exsanguinate, is a solid League starter choice due to its great damage scaling, Fizz Dot and great clear speed once you have the right links. An easy League start choice for Scion as it's easy to path left on the tree to pick up a lot of juicy notables, specifically for Fizz damage, Dot and skills that cost life. Early acts do require that you start with Steel skills or similar to get your Exsanguinate support gems in Unleash and Chain in Act 4, but you can switch to Exsanguinate in earlier acts if you got lucky and nabbed a tabula using links such as added cold, lightning and fire gems instead, but only if you can afford the life cost. In the late campaign, you have a few choices on where you want to take your Exsanguinate build. You can stick with Exsanguinate and go down the South Cash route and just add in Corrupting Fever to get that extra dot damage. You could grab a Poet's Pen if you're lucky and go into a Trigger build, or you could drop Exsanguinate altogether, scale up your Corrupting Fever and go for a Kinetic Blast build. All of these have great clear. This approach is going to be a great mapper regardless of which tree and skill gem choices you make and be able to push you into T16s with investment into plus one ones and amulets. Our second build suggestion, Spark, is a Path of Exile staple and something to see you pop up every league in various guises as a mapper and a great endgame bosser. It's an amazing build that scales really well with the right investment allowing you to take it really far. The good news is it's something you can start using straight away as a Scion, as Spark is your very first quest reward once you get Hillock down. We've got a POB that's easily achievable during Scion Malik, and opportunities to scale into Fantastic Bossa with up to 8k life if you want to put the work in. Overall, it's a great fun build with great clear and some awesome bossing potential. Our third build is a Spectral Helix Elemental Trinity Nightblade Claw build. That's a mouthful. This build is good fun, a great mapper, and a strong leveling build. Due to how the current Nightblade interaction works and scaling elusive, this build is an absolute tank when mapping and will have no issue scaling into red maps comfortably. But its only downside is it's not really ideal for bossing as you will be spending a lot of time in the arena. If your goal for Sayama League is just to casually map and try out something new, I recommend you give this a go before the inevitable Nightblade changes in 319. This has been recommended by community member DK. Worth checking out if you're in need of inspiration and your Anomaly goal is just to have some fun and casual maps. The fourth build on this list has been a popular League starter during both 317 and 318 and works as a Scion. EA Ballista is a variation of the great build by Palstron and Tuna and has been adapted by community member DK. A bit more of a complicated setup to consider as the goal is scaling the fuses and not just the hit damage, but this is where Ballistas excel. If you want to understand the technical details on how this build operates, I highly recommend Palstron's 318 League Starter video, which discusses the mechanics and details on how best to make this build operate. This is one of the most technically complex builds on this list so far. So it is recommended to only try this out if you do the research into how this can be leveled and scaled into the endgame. The easiest way to level this build is the classic Armageddon Brands and Cremation approach and switch later, or if you're lucky enough to get a Storm Cloud, you can transition early. With the right investment, this build can go as far as endgame bossing with ease. The fifth build on this list, and my personal choice for Sion Malik, is Explosive Concoction. After Explosive Concoction was written off as a bit of a meme skill during its introduction in Expedition League, it's been left by the wayside for its more popular cousin, 
poison. Overall, it kind of fails to reach that wow factor of a skill. So, uh, maybe someone out there again has figured it out and they're going to release a build guide and we're all going to be blown away. I want to play Explosive Concoction, but I don't think so. I can't really picture this thing killing Cirrus or Maven without just an absurd amount of investment. That was a mistake, and thanks to creators like Velnir, working on this build, they've come up with a Scion variant that can scale from early campaign to taking down the feed, and that's pretty impressive. I personally tested this build out in Gauntlet, and throughout the campaign its damage was respectable, right up to Act 9 and 10, where I knew my limitation was badly rolled flasks, no ascendancies, and still using some pretty poor gear. We provided a modified variant of Velna's POB here for Sama League with a leveling tree progression and gear suggestions all in one handy POB and we'll link a full guide alongside if anyone wants to give it a go. Now the first of our bonus builds is the Baby Aurobot because we couldn't do a sign list without mentioning it. This is something you can put together with a party over your two weeks in Sama League to gear up it as pretty much a full unique build. If party play is your goal in Anomaly 5, then why not try it out? Now I will caveat and do not recommend you attempt to league start this. We recommend you transition into this if you are going to party play. And our second bonus bonus build is the Ward Loop on a Budget build. Now this is a crazy fun build with clever use of game mechanics, as they say, and you may need a maths degree to figure this one out. Content creators have been working to make budget versions of this build rather than the hundreds of exalts it usually takes. Subtractons recently worked out a elementalist version, which could even be viable as a league start, and Firegrass has provided a great budget scion variation on this build. Only if you are brave enough to try it. If you do not know how a ward loop operates, I recommend you check out the relevant videos linked in the description below, as this is not a build you can gradually put together. All of the pieces in the guides are required perfectly in place for this build to operate. Now, it will be a challenge to put this together within Sayama League, but I'm sure some people out there would love this challenge and rise to it. This list is just a small number of handpicked builds we've put together with the, and for the community to give you some ideas on how to get the best start of Friday the 29th of July during Sayama League. If you're interested in joining the private league, the link is in the description below and it's open to all, as well as Lolkahol's announcement video for full rules and details before you sign up. There were a lot more builds that were suggested and discussed from the community that we could have put into this list, such as Instacking, Blade Vortex, Whispering Ice, Poison Seismic Trap, Bone Shatter, and many, many more, but we just wanted to give you some sensible starting choices to work from. If you're interested, come join us in Anomaly 5, Join the Discord, and I'll see you on the beach.